So at Alpha Women's Center, we do four things. We do medical services, support services, educational services, and then we offer material resources to all of our clients that walk through the door. We offer GED completion, English as a second language. We offer a parenting class, pregnancy ed class, and um, like car seat safety and some other uh, classes like that as well. Great, so real resources for for new moms. We also have a single mom support group that meets up here. Uh, they start in here and do a craft together and then they go to other classrooms to uh, learn about um, nutrition or other things that might help them as a single mom. How about even just basic things like just being a mom, like coping skills, like what do you do when your child won't go to sleep at night or what's a normal time to get them down for a nap or you know <laughs> all those things I would guess uh, when I think about what a single mom support group would be. Really basic things like that to say, hey, you're not alone here. Yeah, it's exactly Exactly right. That one of the obstacles to attending classes are that they don't have child care. Right. And so we make sure that for every class that we have, that we have volunteers that are here and taking care of their kiddos while they're in class. And it also allows for them to have a um, time just to bond with other, with other moms or other dads yeah. as well. So you have something for everybody here from probably little kids to toddlers it looks like. It's fun to watch the volunteers interact and you know lest we think that this is all about the people we serve, I find that myself included but our volunteers often come here and just say this is so rewarding for me just to be able to build into somebody else's life and I learn so much from somebody else who maybe has lived a different path than I've lived or has a different world view and we can learn from each other sure. in really beautiful ways. So very inclusive like no one gets turned away, right? No, no yeah. one gets turned That's away. Right. That's right. We okay. have over 200 active volunteers right now at Alpha Women's Center and Alpha Men's Center. In uh, 2016, we were able to purchase this building. This building had prostitution going on in it. It was a meth lab, uh, completely drug house. Uh, there was a stabbing on the front porch three months before we took possession of it. And we started asking, gosh, should we purchase this in order to really help dads in addition to the moms that we're helping next door? In 2021, we put up a brand new facility. We're the first in the nation to have a standalone building dedicated to dads. What kind of resources do you help these men with? We have, just like the Women's Center, we have the one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. So guys can come in and meet with a trained male volunteer for one hour. We have a Monday night fatherhood group. So about every, every Monday night, we have about six or eight guys that come in. We have dinners for them. We have a job program that runs eight weeks every spring and every fall. Last year was the first year that we were full year in operations and we had over a thousand uh, client visits from dads. So it was really neat to see the program grow that quickly in its first full year of operations. That's impressive. The uh, Grand Rapids community is so incredibly generous, gives about uh, a half million dollars a year of of used goods to this place that we are then able to give away to clients and all of that is sorted by volunteers. So do you have things like people donate diapers, clothing, everything? Everything. Yeah. So Food, um, we gave formula. away we gave away 191,000 diapers last year. Wow. So and here is where donation processing happens. Okay. So not Mondays but Tuesday through Friday there's a team of volunteers that all stand around uh, this table and like I said, our great community comes together. and, and right. So it comes in the garage area, uh, yep. and then it comes in here, gets sorted, sized, hangered, yes. and then uh, gets ready for distribution, if you will. Exactly. Our goal is to become a model of care in the pregnancy mm -hmm. care movement, and we really want to be that kind of resource that does every single piece of what we do, do it well. Mm -hmm. So once it gets sorted and hangered, then and there, when there's needs here, then it comes out here to be replenished, if you will. Yeah, exactly. And uh, in this place is where moms and dads can use alpha books that they've earned. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is just that their investment of time into growing themselves is valuable. Yeah. And we want to be able to also help people with the material items as well. Yeah. yeah. And our client typically will say they might only be able to afford one diaper a day. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you remember back when diaper day is not yeah. sufficient. Yeah, it would cause incredible distress knowing that your baby, that you're not be able to provide those resources for them, uh, what you'd expect as a mother to do. And exactly. so to give them that dignity is really important. Mm -hmm. It is, it is really important. And we want people, that dignity that you just mentioned, that's an important word. We want people to feel like that um, they're doing what they want to do for their children just as much as any of us do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in yeah. today. It's really Thanks been, for the tour. It's, really, it's yeah. really good to walk you through. And um, and again, thank you for what you're doing and serving the public in your profession. Thank you. Proud to do that. We're, we're very blessed by that. Thank you.